change motors on this go-kart because it's a coach and croak for the last time. Sorry. Throwing out all, but this here's a 03 Honda GC165 horsepower Honda. This is a new recoil. I had to replace the recoil because it broke, but this motor here originally came off of a tiller, and I'm going to go through on it how you have to rig up a Honda engine to work on a go-kart, one of these GC-160s. Because these are tiller engines or pressure washer engines, but this is a tiller engine. First off, you have to build a custom exhaust like this. This is that's an old Briggs muffler, and that's just some old exhaust pipe bent and goes around. Now, if you have a go-kart like this, you have to move the seat up because that there will burn this fabric. But you have to have that exhaust done like that and make sure you weld it good or you'll end up with exhaust leaks right there where that bolt is. That This one's already leaking. I have to get it re-welded and it's not going to focus, is it? There it goes. But Another thing is the kill, kill switch is right here. You know, if you, if you don't disconnect it every time you let the gas, it's going to kill the motor. So what you have to do is you have to take all this off. You have to go fish that wire out. You have to cut the end off of it and you have to either splice it or tie it in like this. Now, throttle return. Unlike on the Tecumseh that had its own throttle return, which is this right here, this ain't going to cut it for this Honda. So what you have to do is you have to have a spring, and if you have a go-kart like this, anyways, if you have a um, go-kart like this, dead axle drive, you have to take a spring about, I don't know how long this is, I think it's two inches, and make it fairly light duty because this here is a heavy duty spring and it makes the accelerator difficult to push. And you can't do away with this because you have to have your throttle cable up in here. But um, and you just do it like this here, and that way it'll work as a throttle return. And I'll throw it back down to idle. Now, you're wondering how do you have the accelerator cable rigged up? Well, if you look there, I had to. This was long before I put it on here. I originally had this on a Murray go kart. So right there, I had to do it like that, and to take a piece of um wire and loop it through there, and take the Z bend. And do like that right there loop it around there and I have that crimped on there so tight I can't even get it off now which is good but as you see here how the throttle return works is that spring kicks it back down the aisle this has nothing to do with it it's that spring that kicks it back down you see there how it's working when I press on it and this here can go up a little further you can kind of see there but this cable is so short I can't make it go any further. So yeah, that is how I have this rigged up and I don't suggest you do this unless you know what you're doing like me because um, if you do this wrong you can ruin, very well ruin the engine. But the main thing is the exhaust and a lot of these here you have to have a spacer on them. This particular one I didn't have to have a spacer and yes I had to fix this because I broke it. Um, nylon ties and old throttle flex cable works real good but that's how you rig up a Honda, and if your kill switch ever fails, you can just simply pull the choke and it'll die. Um, yeah, I don't suggest doing the governor return on this Honda because the governor returns automatically, and it plus it'll blow up the motor if you do that, but that's how you do, the, do all of this. Alright, over and out. Alrighty, so in my last video, I'm putting these together. I showed how to rig up how I done the accelerator on here. Well, today I done it right the way it came from the factory. That's actually slipping off. I need to tighten it. But if you have a go kart with this similar setup, you can get one of the Northern Tool ca cables that have that fat end on the bottom of it, and you can run the cable through the cable with the fat end sticking out and going through here, and fish it on down. And then you get one of these cable stoppers, which is still like 99 cents, a dollar for one of these. You get the one with the big hole going through it. You don't get the um, hexagon one. You get the round one. And you fasten it in, and if you don't have a go-kart like this, you can just drill a hole through the pedal with the spring on it. You can just zap a hole through there, put the cable through there, and put this dude on it, the cable stopper. And see when I press the accelerator, well, I'm going to have to move it at the motor. Well, see there that pulls on that so now if you have a Honda GC 160 it's a tiller engine came off a Husqvarna tiller I do believe here's how you get the accelerator to work to make it a go-kart motor what you do is for throttle return you drill a hole through here 
and you put the spring on and you fasten it down to here if you have a dead axle. If you have a torque converter go-kart that has a metal frame, metal body, pop your hole through the frame and hook a spring in like that. But this way works. I can still pull over the motor. Let me cut this key off because I don't want this thing starting on me. Now for the throttle. Now obviously you can't, if you're running the throttle return through here, which is this how I was told to do it. Obviously you can't run a cable through there because it won't work because the cable pulls like that. It doesn't pull like that if you get the picture. So what I ended up doing is I drilled a hole through there just big enough for a piece of flex cable to fit through. And you see what I done? I drilled a hole there and I have that big bulbous looking thing on there, the cable end. And that's how you do one of these motors up for a go-kart. Now you don't mess with the governor. You don't want to run anything straight into the governor. You can seriously damage it, damage the motor by doing so. But you run it into the throttle, into the accelerator, and this motor will run at 3600 RPM. This thing's top speed with it running like this is 18 mile an hour. Yeah, it used to run 40 with that Tecumseh motor, but I said, screw the Tecumseh, I want a Honda engine on here. And well, Oh, and you have to do a custom exhaust too. I'm not going to give away my blueprints, but you can just get the picture. Briggs and Stratton muffler will fit a Honda engine. That little insert right there that I have welded is the original Honda, that piece right there where the bolts go through, you can kind of see where it's welded, is the original Honda engine push in.